Well guys, we're coming to you today from Stamps, Arkansas, our old Albermata. Uh, we're hunting uh, one of our schools over here that they used to, we used to go to. It was the middle, old middle school. And uh, in his Joe has found some silver coins over here. And matter of fact, he found, I think, a silver half over here the other day. Found three silver halves over here since he's been hunting over here. And uh, we're going to hunt here for a while and see what we can find. Check this out. Maybe too far to see now. Should have got him when he come right over. Probably. Yeah. And that's been good. Indian head Joe, um, Joe, he found a half token. <laughs> I don't know what you can buy with a half token, but anyway, it says merchandise on it, so we know it's a token. And uh, I don't know what it says on the other side. Something about Arkansas on the other side, A R K. But anyway, that's all we found so far. We found Joe found some wheat pennies earlier and I found one memorial scent and that's about all we found so far. I want to talk to you guys for a minute to kind of give you another tip of the week and this is a perfect example. Um, this old school of course it's behind me back here and I'll try to get you some pictures of it directly but anyway uh, uh, I wanted to tell y'all, some of you guys that, uh, young guys that's just starting out in the hobby, metal taking hobbyists, um, you wouldn't know this unless your parents or your grandparents told you about it. But back in the early 1960s, between, I, I, I was real young, I wasn't by about five or six years old then, but down here in the southern states, especially in southwest Arkansas, and, and I'm sure the other southern states had them. Um, where there was a lot of population of African Americans. Back then, African Americans, they had their own schools. And whites had their own schools. Or uh, Caucasians, they had their own schools. Uh, so, you know, the, the African American schools, since uh, they segregated the schools and everybody came together, African Americans and Caucasians came together in, to, into one school, the African American schools they no longer exist. That you don't, you know, they don't. And a lot of them are are uh, tore down. There ain't nothing left standing but the foundation. And uh, and, and uh, like this school right here, this middle school, it was African American at one time. But then after we segregated, the schools came together, and they made this a middle school, along with uh, some other school buildings across town over here. That was our high school and uh, elementary school building. But anyway, what I'm getting at is, you know, there's places out there, you know, sites out there, African-American school sites out there here in the Southwest Arkansas and other uh, southern states and that's available to hunt if you can find them. But you wouldn't know that unless you ask your, your parents told you about it. The younger guys, the older guys, they know or to know, but I mean, I know where a few of the old schools were, and uh, we've hunted some. I don't know, remember what we found. If we found a few, maybe a few wheat pens or what. But uh, a lot of the places are growed up, you know, they're in pine thickets or, you know. And uh, so, you know, you just have to look for these sites like that, you know. But anyway, that's my tip of the week for you guys. Well, this is all I found for today. <coughs> um, I got a one memorial penny that dates 1964 right there. And if that had been a silver, if that had been a dime, it'd been silver. But anyway, that's the way it goes. I got, I found a little old uh, button, but I don't think it's all that old. I don't know. I can't tell. But uh, and I found a couple of pieces of lead. I don't know what what all that was about. That looks like a shot 22 bullet there. 
I don't know what this is. Anyway, uh, uh, I think we're going to ease on back. We still got a little bit of sunlight left, but uh, I think we're going to ease back towards Hope and we find another spot uh, along the way that looks good. We might stop and hunt it. But uh, that's probably it for the day. So, so uh, this is Ula saying good luck with your hunting and God bless.